Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your support on this channel. Now, this Treasury CS is on a record telling us that they borrowed 25 billion per week, which works to roughly 100 billion per month uh, in the domestic market, I mean. The current government has so far borrowed more than 1 trillion shillings when we include external borrowing from the US, UK, World Bank and other uh, places of borrowing. Why am I saying this? There is a crackdown in UDA government where this has emerged in Kenya Kwanza government that is MP from Mount Kenya on Ruto's budget on how to run the government. And this, if you can recall what I said on the other video or some videos back, this has reflect the split between Mount Kenya leaders and uh, the government itself. So that is what I want to share to you at this evening. But before I proceed, kindly consider subscribing the channel, likes, comment, and also share. To the members, I'm still appreciating your support through this channel by subscribing it and also viewing. And uh, I request that if this is your first time, kindly do so what we call subscriptions. Now, what was Ruto's mission from the country? Oppressing Kenyans or what? So that is what is going. Because I thought he talked about bottom-up. Hustlers and uh, wheelbarrows nation he is now doing irony of what he said or he promised and i want to look on this matter what is what might bring what we call uda cracks and uh, no one is supporting ruto's financial bill at this moment and uh, due to his wrong budget he has given as the government head of state, this has made Mount Kenya MP to, to hang on Rigadi Gashagwa's neck, where they are now threatening him that if anyone or any promises made by William Samoy Ruto could not be, will not be fulfilled, then they are going to withdraw their support in supporting this government. Now, I will be right by saying that very true Muranga women rep was bold enough to tell Kikuyu to stop fighting on this. But this again has raised so many uh, words of politics where MPs from Muranga or Mount Kenya region are now threatening to withdraw their support from the government. So I want us to look on this about what is based on political analysis. That why are these MPs are now threatening regarding Ashagwa? And I will tell you this, that when it comes to 2027 general election, then William Samoy Ruto will get few support from central region because central or mount kenya have now realized that the government is not offering the better support for them so that is why number one they are creating crack again number two you can look the movement of sabina chege and jeremiah kioni but when you look the other side, Kimani Chungwa and Dini Nyoro, 
is totally different. These people are in bracket for Mandeleu. But regarding uh, Sabina Chege and uh, uh, I mean uh, Kanini Kega, not Jeremiah Kion, Kanini Kega, sorry, are just after their uh, luxury life in government. So that is why I'm, see, uh, I'm saying there will be a detect of a large, huge crack in central government. Where now these people will hang on Rigadi Gashagwa's neck and demand if William Samuel Ruto cannot support them, then they will withdraw their support from the government. So that is why I'm saying this, that William Samuel Ruto is heading to a wrong direction when it comes to politics. Then when it comes again to running the government, it has failed or he has failed on bringing what we call the wrong budget that is why we are seeing mps are now uh, heckling around on how he is behaving not only mps but most of kenyans are now in a perplexed situation they were not expecting how william was before and now he is at the government because when you when you recall or you see or you watch the video he used to campaign with the speeches which he used to campaign with is totally different at this time he is in the government so ladies and gentlemen my question is is he was his aim uh, to create the op operation or uh, to just to love himself in running the government because what is now happening in UDA as a whole is just a totally a crackdown emerge where now this uh, uh, Kenya Kwanza people are now uh, trying to create what you call uh, crack as Ruto's budget bill creating uh, different thoughts. So that is why we are seeing even Rigadi Gashagwa is at a wrong place and these people might even plan to overthrow the government. So that, that, that should be very sensitive enough. You can as well drop your comment at the comment section below. What are your viewpoints on this matter and what has reached at this point where now the MP from Mount Kenya region are bringing crack on this what so called the budget? Will this continue from the other MPs from Nyanza uh, coast? So I think William Samoruto is going to a very tough time which will might lead him to impeachment. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what I had to share to you at this evening and I am appreciating your support on this channel. You can as well drop your comment at the comment section below. Do you think this MPs will create a room of impeachment to President William Samoy Hiruto? You can as well drop your comment at the comment section below. Bye-bye and I wish you all the best through this night hour. Thank you very much.